Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katya. In this video, we'll talk about ethical breeders, how to find them and what to look for. If that's what you're looking for, keep on watching. In this video, I want to talk to you about buying your first puppy from the breeder. How to make sure it's an ethical breeder, not puppy meal, and what to look for when you're searching for a good breeder. I will tell you step by step what to do to find your perfect companion. Let's begin. First is choose your breed. You have to make honest judgment on your level activity. You don't want to get husky if you have free time, you like to play on the couch, watch TV or play games, for example. So you're not very active. The husky it's a very active breed and it will destroy your house if you don't get them burn their energy at least I will say three four hours per day constant running a chasing ball or the best way to burn the energy for husky is sled pulling that's what they bred for. Do you have young children? look for kids friendly breed and probably american kita it's not a good choice because it is look like a teddy bear and looks very cozy and fluffy but it's a working breed and without constant training and controlling this dog it's a not good companion for your kids be aware before you choose some powerful breeds do you live in small apartment somewhere in new york come on you know you know the words Two little words. New York. New, New York. York. Shut up! Shut up! Hey, I'm sleeping here. Maybe choosing Great Dane or Russian Borzoi it's not a great idea either. These dogs need a good amount of space because they're like little ponies. They're huge. I see them at dog show quite often and they very big. They will take up all your couch. And you have no space to sit because your dog sitting there. Make sure you have a good space if you want a great day. Or Russian person. Do your research about the breed. Two good websites to go. It's a AKC or wherever country you live. And the other website, it's a parent club site. So for my breed, I have Brussels Griffon. So I will go to American Brussels Griffon Association website and they have the standards. And please, just please don't pick the breed because it's trendy. Like you went to the movie theaters and you saw beautiful puppy on a big screen. Dalmatian, 101 Dalmatian. Yes, that's a good example. This very, very energetic breed. Don't destroy your house. This breed needs to run and spend a lot of time outside. This breed has tons of energy, ton. So yes, make sure you don't follow the trend. Make sure you follow your brain and your heart. Okay, you make up your mind what breed you're looking for. What next? Go meet the breed. First, if it's popular breed, like I see a lot of huskies around, you can go in the dog park and talk to the owner. Dog people, they love to talk about their dogs. They will talk about their dogs hours and hours if you don't stop them. I'm a good example. I can talk about my breed long time. They're so dang cute and smart and the best breed ever, in my opinion. Yes? Oh, my Brussels, I love them. Actually, not Brussels, it's a wrong. You have to say Griffons. That's the correct way to call them. Yes, Hershey. Okay, go buddies. And other nice place to go is local dog clubs. Watch their events. I'm sure you can find the schedule on their web website. In my opinion, the best place to go to see dog in action and see the good example of the breed is the dog shows. That's where you see best of the best of the breed. Of the breed. And you can meet the breeder and ask the breeder tons of questions. Breeders pretty nice, I will say. They will answer your questions because they so passionate about this breed. When I came to America, I didn't know how to find the dog shows. I don't remember how I found it, but when I went to my first dog show to watch, one person told me about that website. It's called infodog.com. And right now I will show you how to search this website to find the dog show close to you. Go to infodog. 
Amazon.com. It's a website where you can find all scheduled shows around America. Here's the website. Click on show info and find the show by state. Click on show by state and the map of America will show up and look for your states where you live. For example, I live in Western Pennsylvania. We don't have much shows around my area. I usually go to Ohio. Click on a state and the schedule for that state will show up here. It's different type of the shows. It's non, not only confirmation, it's also Riley, Agility, all different types. On the top part, you will see show, city, type, date, close date. Usually you can click on a type and a site will organize the talk show by the type, but maybe it's something on my computer. You're looking for all breed dog shows. For example, for me, I will look for Talmadge, Ohio, and let's say I want to go sometimes in November. But the find, I find a dog show in Talmadge, Ohio. It's Saturday, November 21st, 2020. And the closing day is a Wednesday, November 4th, 2020. Remember that day, put on your calendar, and day after this closing day, come back to this website and go on a top website again. Go to show info and click entry breakdowns. So here's the entry breakdown, and you can see a few shows will happen in these places. So let's set example on West Springfield. So just click on the entry breakdown and look for your breed. I will set example on the Brussel Griffon. So Brussel Griffon just one. I don't know. I will not go. It's only one Brussel Griffon because it's a good chance this Brussel Griffon not show up. For example, this a King Charles uh, Cavalier, King Charles Spaniel. It's a 17 dogs. It's a very good chance you will see that lots of dogs and mid breeders, and you can talk to owners. The place where where you can see the schedule, you just click again on Show Info and Show by State. One week before show in a judging program will be PDF file like this. You just click on this PDF file, like find your show and click on this PDF file in judging program, and it will be on information. Time, what time is the rings, how much for parking, all information you need to know. That's it for this website. It's very easy and if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below. And you can find the link to that website in the description box as well. Next, it's a fine, responsible breeder, ethical breeder, good breeder. You can call wherever. I will classify the breeders in three categories. Some people, they will do just two categories, but I classify them in responsible breeder, backyard breeder and puppy mill. I know like a lot of people will put backyard breeder and puppy mill in the same category like a puppy mill or backyard breeder and they will show a picture of horrible puppy mills and they will call them backyard breeder. So I will not say backyard breeder that bad. Some backyard breeders they adore the dogs. They love their dogs so much. I will not call backyard breeders puppy mills. Maybe I'm wrong but it's my personal opinion. And the puppy mills that when horrible stuff happening. Dogs live in the cages all the time. This people they breed dogs without any breaks ethical breeders what to look for make sure you're on the right path the ethical good breeders responsible breeders let's call them good breeders for now so good breeder they will check their breeders health before they breed them it's a set of tests recommended by OFA orthopedic foundation for animals and you can go on their website and check what tests recommended for this specific breed and I will show you how to do that first we'll do its look OFA website OFA is orthopedic foundation for animals just click on that link and you are on OFA website. If you want to look for specific breed, click here, test by breed. Scroll down and here will be all breeds. I will show you example on my breed, Brasso Griffon. Just click on a breed and here all tests, responsible breeder has to be done. Two tests, most important, every breeder has to do that test. It's eye examination and patella relaxation. Other tests are optional. If you want to look for specific dog, like you like that dog and you want the puppy from that litter, you go here, look up OFA health tested dogs, print the name of the dog. I will show you example of my dog. It's Chevelyn Tamara. Not much information because she is not old enough to do other tests. Only test we got done is Hyroi. You click on the name and hear her information. 
That's her AQC number. She's a breast milk reform, female, her color red. She was born May 22, 2019. DNA profile V907148. That's her father and mother number. And here's the test results. That's the number of her test. That's the test we got done, thyroids. This is date when this was done. This is date when I got report. And that was her age, 12 months. And the final conclusion, it's normal. It's good. So that's what you're looking for, normal or good, something like that. Also link for that website in the description box. A responsible breeder will ask you questions and will probably ask you to fill application to make sure this specific puppy is a good fit for you. A good breeder will not sell a puppy before age 8 weeks. For smaller breeds, usually it's 12-14 weeks. So the breeder will make sure the puppy potty trained, puppy cage trained, perfectly healthy, vaccinated, well socialized before they go in a new home. And if something happened and you cannot take care of this puppy anymore, you know, life happens. I totally understand. The good breeder will take this puppy back and find the puppy a new home. Good breeders don't have puppies all the time. They not breed like over and over and over. I don't want to have tons of puppies all the time because I will not have time to proper train them and proper socialize them. A good breeder, they will not become breeding factory, if that makes sense. And like I said earlier, the good breeders, they socialize puppies. Puppy will be well socialized and you should have no problem with this puppy behavior and before you buy the puppy you should see that puppy at least once to meet the puppy and make sure that's what you're looking for well, and you will be able to see parents at least mother the father sometimes is impossible because father can live overseas that's common and uh, let's talk about prices i will set example on my breed because i know about my breed more <laughs> than about other breeds like, I don't know how much you will pay for Great Dane or for Akita, but I know for pet quality in our breed, it's average price, I will say about 2,500. It can be less, but it also can be more. I know the breeder who sell pets for $800, and I know breeder who sell for $3,000. That's it for this video. I may not cover everything, but I'm sharing my knowledge and my experience, and I don't know everything in this world. So I know stuff, but not everything. If I miss something and you know something, please comment in the comments below. I will appreciate that information as well. And if you like my channel, consider this subscribe and if you like this type of videos give me some likes and i post video every friday thank you so much for watching see you next week bye Where's Katya? That's my husband. Where's Katya? pink mustache beautiful and fencing.